Hey guys, it's Alan here from Small Boat Big Adventures. Uh, I'm just showing what I do with my craze and how I freeze them and dismember them and everything else. So when I get them on the boat, basically I've got bottles of water in my isky, frozen bottles obviously, and then before we start catching crabs, we just dump a few buckets of salt water in there, so that way it gets them all nice and cold and puts them to sleep. So then I get home, pick, take all the crabs, leave them in the bucket, back in the fridge, come home from work, like now, they're gone, long gone, sleeping forever. So what I do is, because I don't freeze my craze holes, like I said at the beginning, so what I do is I do the poor man's cryback. So first thing I do, obviously the craze there sitting there. I pick it up from here, I'll just pull it out a little bit so you can see the membrane there. Grab my knife, I go from here as far as I can get, all the way around. Down to that side, rotate the crayfish so it's sitting like that. This bit I can't get as far in as I like to, but generally we usually do. Go around, pick the crayfish up, grab it, twist, pull. As you can see, there's not as much. There is a bit of wastage in there, there's not as much. Most of the meat's sticking out the side. Then, sit the tail, belly side up, grab my, my real knife, my man knife. Come from the front there, hands separated, come down there. Spin, that way again, grab the all the way through. Flip, top, split. Grab the poop chute, pull it off from there. And then, because they've died, it makes so much easier, and whites are even easier than reds. Um, run the thumb down the side here, hold it, come straight out. Nothing left on that side. And then, same thing. As you can see, even the little bits from inside the towel from this part here have actually come out as well. So, that's basically how I do it. Then I grab my poor man's cryback. So, yeah. I write the date, how many crayons I put in there. And then I've got four, I put four to a bag. Open the bag up. Magically. Usually my hands are clean by now, but for this case, we'll do it. I zip it up pretty much almost all the way. Take the bag so the crays, the tails fill up the whole bag. Give it a bit of a squeeze and roll. And you see all the air pushing out the front end now. Just roll one more time. Push it all out and zip it shut. Sits in the freezer like that. So you can see your date and you know when you caught it and that's it till next time take it easy catch you out the water next time peace